I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning time that God has given us to come in his presence. For a morning meditation let's turn to Proverbs chapter 12 verse 27. The slothful man roasteth not that which he took in hunting. But the substance of a diligent man is precious. In the past days we have been meditating upon the warnings of the Lord for a lazy person. Again and again the Lord warns his children about it so that they may understand the harm laziness will bring in their life. An idle person will never prosper in this worldly life nor in the life which is to come. So the spirit of the Lord is trying to teach that the destruction this laziness will bring in our life. through many illustrations so that every person can easily understand if a person still ignores the warning of the lord and is idle or irresponsible in his life he will regret about this nature for eternity we need to remember that the time which god has given for every man in this life is very short when we compare it to his life in eternity if we are not responsible or if we do not use this short time wisely then how can we prove ourselves that we will be responsible in the future or eternity that is why the psalmist prays to the lord to give him the wisdom to number his days here the scripture describes how a lazy person is not utilizing the privileges which he has before him one of the translations explains this verse as a slothful man will not catch his prey that means he may go for hunting for the sake of others but as he is not keen in his work he may not catch his prey even if he gets something maybe by the labor of his companions he does not want to labor any more and enjoy the fulfillment of the work he has done his hunting does not do any good for him nor to his companions He is not serious even about the fruit of his labor which is a blessing for him but on the contrary let us look at the nature of a diligent person he will get precious wealth because of his hard labor that means he values the fruit of his labor as it is precious to him because he has labored with his whole heart that's why it is precious And this is the same with our spiritual blessings also. God looks at us as to how much we value the eternal blessings which we have received through Christ our savior. We have not done anything nor are we worthy to receive it as it is the gift of the Lord which we have received through grace. But do we count it as the precious possession of our life? Will we labor hard to guard it or will we sit idle like that slothful man who does not care to put some labor and enjoy the fruit of his hunting look at the words of apostle paul at the end of his journey he could boldly say i have kept my faith even in the midst of life's storms and perils he guarded his faith as it was more precious to him than anything else we can read about the long list of sufferings he had been through But even in the midst of all these things his faith came out victorious as he was deeply rooted in the love of Christ if that must happen then we must labor for our spiritual life we need to feed our inner man with the bread from heaven that is the pure word of god now when the enemy is trying his level best to pollute the minds of the chosen ones with another gospel through another spirit through the people who call themselves as believers and pastors and prophets a child of god needs to take time to learn the word of god so that he can easily differentiate the true word of god from the other the gospel if god did not hear the excuses of adam and eve in the garden of eden when they tried to put blame on each other remember when we stand before the judgment throne of god we solely will be responsible for our spiritual life we cannot put blame on pastors or our dear and near ones or any other person god has given us his true word of word and we need to take care of our spiritual life according to it let us be diligent enough 
to keep the commands of the Lord so that the peace and joy of the new life which God has given us may rest upon us always. Let us be overcomers through Christ in all the temptations and trials of our life. Let heaven be proud of us when we stand before the Lord. May the Lord help each one of us to love the Lord and keep His commandments and be true to our faith as the day of the Lord is very near. And may the Lord help us for that. Let us pray. Father, we praise you and thank you for this beautiful time. And thank you for the precious word. Lord, help us to value the precious salvation that we have. And help us to guard our faith. Lord, when the enemy tries his level best to deceive us, Lord, help us to be on the guard and not be lazy. Lord, if a lazy person cannot achieve anything in this world, Lord, help us to always remember that laziness in our spiritual life will bring our own destruction. Help us, Lord. May your name be glorified. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May God bless us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.